care package inbound. Hey everyone, it's Angela here. I'm actually super sick at the moment, so my videos have sort of ground to a halt, but um, today I am going to run through what I use to make stuff like this. I never really thought about it before, but I got a message from John um, asking where to get Eva Foam from and what Eva Foam was. And I, I just stupidly assumed that you guys would know, but how would you know if I haven't actually said, if I've just sort of held something up and gone, this is what you use. So I'm hoping this video will help you know what I use and um, the makes of things and also where in Australia that you can um, buy them that kind of thing this is what I'm working on at the moment well not at the moment because I'm not very well but um, it's a medieval Darth Vader sword for my grandson so that video will be live once I'm feeling better and up to finishing it for now though I'm going to take a look at the stuff that I use and where I get it from and I hope it's of help to you guys Eva phone um, John wasn't sure what this stuff was or where to get it from so this is it here basically camping mats. You can get this from Kmart, Bunnings here in Australia. I think Target might even have it. Aldi sometimes has it. This is stuff you're looking for. Um, it can also, it's also known as um, garage flooring, playroom flooring. That's what I use. Foam board or styrofoam. You get this from places like Barnes here in Australia. Uh, Bunnings don't do the insulation foam like they do in New Zealand and the US. So a bit of a bummer, this stuff's super expensive. Um, I think for this piece here, it was $20. But if you want to carve out a styrofoam, that's pretty much your only choice as far as I'm aware here in Australia. It's your styrofoam or foam board. As for uh, glues and adhesives, Parfix is the one that I use for uh, Eva foam. Super glue also, Eva foam or anything else that works quite well on 3D prints. You can get Parfix in this tin or you can get it in a tube. Craft glue, Styro goo and Elmer's are supposed to work on foam. I wouldn't recommend them. They're more for paper and cardboard and that sort of thing. Even the Styro goo, which is specifically made for a styrofoam, um, I didn't find it great. Obviously, it doesn't eat through the styrofoam. That's the only difference. Parfix contact cement works really well. You put, put it on both sides of whatever you're doing. So say here and here. You wait a little while until it becomes tacky. And then when you put it together, it is together. There's no going back from that. So that is, is really good stuff if you're using Eva foam. Super glue works well on Eva foam, but it does leave the sort of bubbled residue if you're using the cheap stuff, which is what I tend to use. That's your glue. I think I mention these things in every tutorial video, the good old chip brush. These are what I use for dry brushing. They're fantastic because they're soft and they're also super cheap. You can get these in Bunnings, Masters. I actually got a good deal on these in Masters. So if you're in Australia, sadly Masters is shutting down and I picked these up on the weekend. You can never have enough of these things. I think I bought 80 of them. I use multiples of those when I am doing commissions or paintwork because I tend to change them. So yeah, chip brushes, chip brushes all the way. If you just ask for them in Bunnings or uh, any other paint store, you should be able to get them. 25 millimetre, that's what they look like. Nice and soft, fantastic for dry brushing. As for smaller brushes, I've bought these I do not recommend these, these are awful. Very stiff. If you can afford it, you're much better off buying something like Games Workshop um, figure brushes that are made with a proper hair, not this nylon rubbish. But if you need cheap ones, you'll find these in any of the cheap stores, like the dollar stores, uh, what have we got, Crazy Clark's, Sam's Warehouse, those kind of stores. For epoxy, I use this one, which I get from Barnes. I'm assuming you can also get it from avesstudio.com. It's a two-part epoxy. Dries really, really super hard, like stone almost. And all you do is you mix an equal part A and B. 
that's it. Squash them together. You get about 20 minutes good work time before it becomes too difficult to work with. So yeah, epoxy sculpt. Comes in smaller tubs as well. Not cheap. I think I paid $100 for these two little tubs. So it's not cheap, but it lasts a long time. So that's epoxy sculpt. I'll show you inside actually. Just looks like Play-Doh. Some safety stuff again. Most of this came from uh, Bunnings, I think. Bunnings Masters. Any of the hardware stores, Mitre 10, whatever here in Australia. Latex gloves. Good for when you're using um, Bondo and that kind of thing. Filter masks. I've got three different kinds. I've got the respirator for like chemically things. I use that on paint as well. And these ones for bigger particulates. So quite a hefty one. And then the little tiny light one. Get these as the same Bunnings Mitre 10 masters. And eye protectors. Again, pick those up in the hardware store. Or anywhere probably. I assume maybe Kmart, Target, those kind of places. I think that's all for protective stuff. Wearing a mask, very important. I got extremely sick a couple of years ago or a year and a half ago. And I wore a mask most of the time that I was working. And I think on the times that I wasn't wearing it, it did not um, go down well. So always wear a mask. I'm not going to bring all my tools down because I've got lots of tools, spanners, screwdrivers, files, scissors, blades, pliers, wrenches, clamps, you name it, I've probably got something. Uh, these are pretty cool however and I thought I'd point them out because they're super cheap and very handy. Little tiny file set, again, pick these up in Bunnings here in Australia or probably anywhere that sells hardware stuff. All different shapes, you get flat ones, angled ones, round ones, super, super handy. Definitely uh, recommend that you have one of these in your collection. I think this cost about $12, so it's hardly anything. Wire snips and pliers, obviously you're going to need. And I'm just about to run you through some sort of weird things that I think are also really useful that you might not know about. Okay, icy pole sticks or popsicle sticks, I think they're called in America. Very handy for mixing things uh, when you're using Bondo for spreading it on because obviously it clings to everything and then you can just bin them. And these are cheap, you can get them in a huge bag like this. I think I got these from Barnes again. Very handy. Paper cups or plastic cups, cheapest you can find. Great for mixing paints. Uh, resins, whatever else you need to mix, and then you can just bin them rather than trying to reuse things. It's actually probably cheaper to do this. What else? Makeup wedge cosmetic puff. I don't wear, I'm not a big makeup wearer, but these things are handy for spreading things around. Maybe if you're doing the metal work that you've seen me do where I use my finger, you can actually put a little silver paint on here and then run it along the edge. So say here. And it actually works quite well. So sticking with the makeup theme, I know that I've shown you these before, but I'm going to show you them again. Throw away nail files or emery boards that you do your nails with. These are fantastic for sanding things and you can cut them so you can make them into as thin a space as you need to get into. And it's like solid sandpaper. So I highly recommend them. And they come in different um, grades. So this one's really, really, really smooth, fine. And then you can get a heavy grade one as well. Recommended. Get those in chemists, anywhere that sells makeup in the makeup area. Probably where you'll find these also. Handy to have. I realized I forgot to show you this. This is Flop, and you'll get it from model stores, maybe the Warhammer store, Games Workshop. And it comes in different things. This is Citadel. You can get dirt, grass, various other terrain types. That's good if you're doing terrain or if you need something that has that sort of grassy 
look, sorry, <clears throat> I did say I was sick. I wasn't pretending. I'm in my pajamas, for goodness sake. Um, yeah, that's good stuff. And modeling stuff in general, if you can find a good modeling shop or even an RV shop, they have handy little bits and bobs in there that um, if you're nerf modding or prop making, you'll probably find really handy. Paints I get asked about a lot. I think I've probably shown you most of these in um, other tutorials, but I'm gonna run through everything that I use. Cheap acrylics, get these in art shops, cheap shops, whatever, these are pretty cool. More expensive if you're going for a better look with more sort of shades and you don't wanna mix your own. You can't go wrong with these. They're super expensive. You get them in the Games Workshop, but they've got every color imaginable and different sort of depths of paint. So you've got shading paints, inks, oils, lots of cool stuff going on with these. I use these for commissions and they work really well. For a spray paint, you can go cheap. This one here you get in Super Cheap Auto, I think. Yep, Super Cheap Auto for that one. Iron Lac, if you want some really popping color. Absolutely brilliant paint, but not cheap. And for a matte finish, I go with Krylon. Sadly, you can't get Krylon paints here, but you can get the matte finish, which is strange. Not cheap, I think this costs $35 for this can, which is extortion, but I got it in an art shop, so there's that. I think most um, auto stores carry their own cheap brand spray paint. As I said, I think this is super cheap auto, but I think Auto Barn have their own version. I think Bunnings have one called Sticky bits or, oh, I can't remember. Some ridiculous name anyway. Um, but I, I wouldn't recommend that one, that particular one from Bunnings. But they do do a second type. I can't remember what that is. Oh, it's gonna annoy me now. Bunnings have got a cheap, a cheap brand uh, spray paint also. But I go for the car, the car store ones, generally speaking, better. That's your paints. Okay, I think I've covered everything. Sandpaper, obviously you need different grades. A heavy grade for getting off uh, big nasty things and then a really fine grade for going over the damage you've done with the heavy grade. And I mentioned these emery boards. I found the higher ones. These are um, lower ones, I should say. These are really rough. Let me see. Good stuff, really good. And as I say, you can cut them. Masking tape, pens, pencils, kitchen roll, toilet roll is handy also for cleaning brushes and whatnot. Sticky tape, hole punches, big stuff, a heat gun, a rotary tool like a Dremel, extremely handy. A drill press if you're going for really big stuff, a scroll saw, a band saw. If you can't afford a band saw and a scroll saw, Stanley knives, box cutters, You've seen them before, I've shown them to you. Uh, clips and clamps, you'll probably need those. And I think I've covered almost everything. I haven't covered all my resins and my fiberglassing stuff um, because to be honest, I don't know that much about it to be able to cover it well and I don't want to lead you astray. But again, if you're looking for resins, mold making, latex, silicones, any of that stuff here in Australia, Barnes is the store to go to. I'm on the Gold Coast and there's one in Brisbane. I know there's one in Melbourne. I'm assuming there's one in Sydney. And you can order online and they will deliver it to your door. Okay, my fellow Aussies, I think I've run you through everything and where to get. Any questions, pop them in the comments, uh, either here on YouTube or over on my Facebook page. And I will gladly answer them. I'm hoping that I've gone through everything if I miss something, just let me know. I'm happy to help. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you have a much better uh, week than I am having with my illness. But I wanted to push this video out for you guys and particularly for John who had asked me that uh, question about the Eva foam. Where do I get Eva foam? And I just assumed that people would know where to get it. Um, but obviously, if you know where to get it, you know where to get it. And if you don't, then yeah, that's a great question. So I thought I'd cover that. Have a great week. Nerfenstein out.
can't believe I'm doing this in my pajamas. Oh my god. What has happened? <laughs> 